Alrighty guys, so I thought I'd make this video as a bit of a summary to the 80 series build, the Van Cruiser. Um, I did the same thing with my Patrol, I'll link it down below basically. The whole year or year and a half that it took to build that car, jammed it all into 10 minutes so you guys get a bit of a summary. So I've done the same here, looking back at the last nine months to build this car, it's bloody tiring watching how much work went into it. It's pretty funny to see how far back that was and I kind of forgot how much went into it. So the thing started as a full budget build, I'll link that down below as well. We had $10,000 to buy a car, build it in 24 hours and take it on a trip. Then it kind of retired after that and we've done this full blown 15, 16 episode build series on the custom 80 series Van Cruiser, which is seriously one of a kind in this country. That's what this video is all about. So obviously we first started the whole idea. I really wanted to build a chopped 80 series, but that quickly changed when I went to the beach and fell in love with that tailgate. So I was like, how can I make it different? Bit of a brainstorm with the boys. We thought, why not do like a panel truck, two-door panel van thing, did a bit of Googling. Um, saw Mark's one down in South Australia. He'd just finished his one actually. And um, yeah, basically fell in love with that and thought that is exactly what I'm gonna do. So we kicked things off with welding those doors together and started blocking in where the windows were. Now after that, it was time to really start tackling the engine. Now I was thinking, what conversion do you do? Everyone just says go Barra or LS, or I thought, hang on a second. These motors are a little bit underrated. So I want to see what I could do with the 1F set. So that's the original petrol 80 series engine. I ended up using a 105 series engine. The only difference really being that it's electronic ignition rather than distributor. So we tore the thing down ready for a rebuild. And then once we were waiting for parts for the actual engine uh, to put that back together, we got cracking on with some of the interior stuff, sound deadening and um, fireproofing and all that kind of stuff inside the interior. Now I didn't seem to have many time lapses running with the engine so I used a bit of uh, B-roll shots there to show that thing going together but built the whole thing myself, it was pretty nerve wracking, it's the first time I'd actually put a complete engine together on my own so that was pretty cool. Um, after that we started cracking onto all the drive lines so we rebuilt the disc, put lockers in them as well um, and rebuilt all the hubs and bearings, um, brake ends, put the Bendix brake upgrade kit on, 
um, and basically made that thing give a complete overhaul with those swivel hubs assembly there. And then it was time to crack into my custom wiring harness, a complete standalone harness from Haltech there. That was another one of those <laughs> nerve wracking moments because you don't want to get a single wire wrong. The thing could completely not run after that. So I was pretty lucky, managed to get it working. And this is what we ended up with. Now after that, things really took a turn for the, well let's say, creative side. I had this crazy idea on my head, let's put a 200 series front end on it. So it was really nice and modern, and you had the old school 80 on the back. So I dove deep into that, started cutting the front of this thing off, and um, well, one thing led to another, and this is what we ended up with for the full wide body 80 series. Around this point, we managed to actually take the thing for its first drive up and down the road. We got the thing dyno tuned, but the rest of the car wasn't finished. So it was time to crack in to get the rest of the car together. We started off with the electrical. I did all the rear drawers, um, set up the frame for that, and then really cracked into the dual battery system, made sure the electrical was there to run the thing, and then it was onto the body. Yeah, so these guards, this is one of those things I have painted a lot of cars before, but this is next level sort of bodywork. It was literally a custom front end shape. So I had to mold the thing. It was a lot of experimentation using foam and fillers and bog and fiberglass matting and all sorts of stuff to get the shape right. I redid it about two or three times. Same with the back end, did that a couple of times till it looked right. Um, the rear ended up being steel because that's staying there. Now the front, uh, we got a complete mold made. So I had a full custom bonnet guards all in fiberglass and basically the sections that had all the bog and foam that turfed in the bin, they were just a plug. So now the whole front end is a full custom fiberglass to suit that 200 series.
That was the body done. That took a lot longer than expected. I thought I'd get it done in about two or three weeks, but turns out six weeks later, I just finished off doing the body and it was a real push to get the thing done. Now the wrap was the next thing. We got it down to the guys. They did that super, super fast down at SS Signs. They squeezed me in, managed to get the wrap done. Now the idea behind that, I wanted 50-50. It was originally gonna be half black, half white, the black side to match the patrol. So it was kind of pigeon pair with the two of the cars, but the white side didn't quite look right. So one thing led to another. We added a bit of rustic stuff in, then it got real industrial and then it turned into like well let's make that whole side like old school 70s vibe for that van cruiser panel van style got a 70s logo on there called the thing the van cruiser down the door and that is the wrap that we end up with After nine months of build, it was a perfect finish. We managed to unveil the thing down at the Max Tracks open day in Brendale. Heaps of people came down. So if you're one of those guys, thank you so much for checking out the unveiling of the 80 series. Um, but now it's time to drive it. So thanks for being super patient guys, because there was a real push to get the thing running um, and get basically the outside done so you guys could see it finished. But there's a lot of little things that were shortcutted to make that happen. So I've got a bunch of stuff to finish off with the interior. Uh, inside stuff, a bit of wiring and that to make the four-wheel drive work and everything. So there's a little bit of stuff behind the scenes that's happening and then fingers crossed in the next week or two, I'll be able to actually get the thing out onto the beach and do some four-wheel driving stuff and really do an unveiling video to see the thing being used. So that is definitely coming, just taking a little bit more time than expected. And also to celebrate the 80 series van cruise, you guys love that retro side so much. We've done a retro tee now, they sold crazy online and I've just managed to restock it. So if you wanna grab one of them before they sell out again, I'll put a link down below to the website, grab yourself one of the van cruiser tees um, and they will be available basically until they sell out because I don't think I'm gonna bring them back after that. So jump on them while stocks last. Oh, before we end, you're probably wondering what's coming next. And I'm just gonna say one little thing is an absolute bombshell happening in the next week or two on this channel. So definitely don't go far away from your computer. Make sure you hit that subscribe button because there is something completely unexpected happening on this channel in the next couple of weeks. We'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Hello guys and welcome to Built Not Bought HQ. Make sure to click on the far left to subscribe to the channel. Click down below to see the latest episode if you missed it. And don't forget our merchandise on our website. See you in the next episode.